Hey guys, Mike Perlman here for Techno Buffalo, and before I jump into the review for the Panasonic Lumix DMC FC47, I wanted to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day, and I even wrote you a Valentine. Roses are red, violets are blue. You guys are the best darn subscribers on all of YouTube. Buh. So happy Valentine's everybody. I hope everyone has their special someone and uh, I'll be keeping my Valentine for you guys right close to my heart. All right, so enough with the mushy stuff. Let's jump into the review. Panasonic Lumix DMC FZ47. What the heck is this? Panasonic's long ass model names. Aside from that, it's a big super zoom camera. Though not as big, it's a little more compact and it's a little more budget friendly. It's got a 24x optical zoom lens. It has AVCHD 1080 60i recording. And this camera records in stereo. And one of the greatest things about this camera is that it's just stocked from lens to LCD with camera controls. Before we get into that, let's talk about image quality. Image quality with the FZ47, a typical point and shoot performance. What you have here is you have a 12.1 megapixel CCD sensor. Now the thing about this camera is that in bright light, when you shoot in bright light, um, results are very good. Details pretty impressive, uh, colors are fairly accurate. I've always liked uh, colors coming out of Panasonic's point and shoot lineup. However, when you get into the low light, when you start shooting at any ISO that's past 400, this camera brings on the noise and the grain. Now the FC47 has a lot of different ISO boosting modes. You could shoot at like 32 or 6400. Please don't use those modes. It's just going to be a pixelated, noisy, grainy mess. The same thing happened in HD video mode. Bright light, very impressive for a point and shoot. Low light, anything past ISO 400, 800 started to be a noisy mess. Check out my review on our site. I shoot at ISO 6400 in video and you get a taste of that grainy noisiness. So that's the major drawback to the FZ47. Now when we talk about design and we talk about features, we're talking about a whole different ballpark. This camera offers a lot more than many cameras in its class. Um, first of all, the design button layout super easy to race around and get to things ISO levels right there self timer is right here we've got a function key we've got a control wheel in the back that you could actually depress to click and select different options we've got a big mode dial here we've got HDMI mini port here designated video record button so this camera on the outside strewn about with manual controls and external controls. Very impressive. Now as far as shooting features on the FZ47, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, let's start with the zoom. 24x optical zoom with Power OIS. This is uh, Panasonic's image stabilization system. Optical image stabilization is one of the best in its class. So what that means was I was able to zoom all the way and still keep the camera fairly steady. Now the FZ47 at full resolution is kind of slow um, it can capture 3.7 frames per second, but when you go down to the sports modes and the high burst modes, you can actually capture a higher frame rate, or I think it's around 8 or 10. As far as manual controls, you have a shutter speed that goes all the way down to 60 seconds, and that is a big benefit, and I'll tell you why. You can actually set it on a tripod, do a long exposure shoot, then you don't have to worry about the, uh, you know, the poor ISO performance. The FZ47 also offered a lot of creative modes and creative digital filters. And the good thing was, in video mode, I could actually take advantage of those digital filters and I could shoot you know, using pinhole or expressive mode. While I'm talking about video mode, it's important to note that this camera has a full manual video mode with ISO control, also has shutter speed control and aperture control. In this price range and in this class, that's almost unheard of. So overall, the Panasonic Lumix DMC FZ47 is stocked with features and has a great external control. The only thing limiting it for more advanced shooters is its low light performance. It's more of an entry level camera. So if you're a soccer mom or if you're a skateboarder kid who's used to just shooting in bright light, 
you can't go wrong with the Panasonic Lumix DMC FZ47. Advanced shooters, low light seekers, high ISO hunters are going to want to look at the higher end super zoom cameras like the Canon PowerShot SX40HS and the Lumix DMC FZ150. Sony also makes a very nice super zoom as well. So check those out and be sure to check out the whole review at technobuffalo.com. I'm Mike Perlman. I hope you guys have a lovey-dovey Valentine's Day and I'll see you guys later.